What up, how's life? I'm Kai Visionary and this is another book review. This book review is gonna be quite of an, a very quite old book. I wouldn't say it's that old, I think it's old by several months, but it's gonna be of Marcus Butler's Hello Life. Hi. I haven't really had a chance to do record the review and it's not that I didn't want to, it's just that when I suddenly get an idea of another video I would sometimes just forget about doing this review, just go on to something else. I also like the way it's a hardback cover, I kind of like the way it's like this. I do like the simplicity, there isn't too much stuff going on. You've got a nice picture of Marcus here, you've got hello life just and i kind of like the font that they used for hello life so it just shows fun and stuff and as you can see the rest of it the rest of the book is orange i think that's his favorite color but it's really nice before i get into this for those of you who haven't read it yet i kind of doubt because some of you may have re read it but for those of you who haven't read it i do suggest you go get the book because it is really amazing i'm also gonna say there are a few other books excluding this book there's roughly three book that I haven't done a review for and I'll probably get to those hopefully at some point I, I don't know when. Now my general thoughts on the book it gives you an insight into Marcus's life also his train of thought and another reason why I like it is because it's written in the way that you think he would actually say it like the way he talks which I like about about it because it, it just makes it come across as more genuine. There are also various pictures throughout this book that is just so well done. You've got some professional pictures, there are some selfies and just crazy moments with friends which I genuinely like because and I kind of like the juxtapositioning of it all because you don't just have just one set of pictures. You've got like all these different ones and it just shows different sides of Marcus which I really do like. This book incorporates tips, life hacks, all the advice he, I think he's given in a majority of his videos. At the back it does say that this book is kind of like a self-help guide. I'm going to be talking you guys through a lot of it <laughs> but I don't want to go into too much detail but I will say that there are various chapters such as healthy living where he talks about his struggle into living healthy and if you guys don't know Marcus does live like quite a healthy lifestyle. He does talk about the transformation of his body. He does mention it in a few vlogs and he also puts it in this book saying that not everyone may enjoy hearing about his body transformation, the struggles, all that kind of thing. And there are also recipes for snacks and ideas. There's also work routines in the book as well, which I really love. Not only does he tell you a bit about his own lifestyle in terms of healthy living, but he also tells you how you can get into it as well. Well, sort of. And I think that's what I like about it because even now he doesn't just say it about himself, he also tries to involve us into it as well, which I genuinely love. The next chapter is called Date and Gain. And with this, it's like, it talks a bit about some advice that we may know already, stuff he wants to actually say. And he also talks about how his story with Naomi, I know they're not together anymore, but still it's kind of, I probably should have read it back when they were still together. But either way, it was still nice kind of reading it and finding out their their kind of story. He also mentions like how to get over a breakup. I think everyone needs to hear that. Like, I think there are various ways to get over a breakup. Hearing it once isn't always enough. You need to hear it a bunch of times, I think. Then you've got a chapter about family and friends. He also talks about stuff that is quite personal about how he, one of his friends had anorexia and he, he, he was trying to help his friend as good friends normally would and he was doing everything he could and it's just very touching and to me it just shows the bond that he had with that friend like how much that friend me meant to him because like some friends we will go like to uh, to like a top of a mountain like who the hell says that but a top of a mountain to uh, to maybe like and back just to help a friend he also gives an insight into more of his personal life in this and he also talks about his parents divorce and I've never had that experience luckily but I do feel sorry for those who have gone through their parents getting a divorce and he also talks about 
getting over loss and just fake friends and bullying stuff that we all can kind of relate to because I've had a few of those experiences actually a lot of them I really did like this chapter like I would say this was my favorite chapter of the other ones I don't know I just felt like I could relate to it so much the last chapter getting the life you want and so it's kind of like it talks about his early youtubing so kind of like at the beginning not currently which I pretty much would have liked to hear but you know you can't have everything and it also talks about stuff like how to deal with stress and pressure which I really enjoyed reading because there are times in life where you would generally get stressed about things like I've gotten stressed about stuff whenever people do ask me like okay what are you gonna do for your life because that's it's, it's just very hard and then some people do pressure you to do all these different things not generally what you may want to do but yeah I really did like this part of it as well this part of the book as well overall it was a great read I'm just so glad that Marcus included so much stuff into it because it is so helpful not only does it tell tell me about Marcus himself but also like he still tries to help us through this book which I loved reading. I will definitely read this book again and again because it was just such a good read and so yeah that's pretty much it for my book review of Hello Life. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave all your comments down below and let me know about your favorite part of Marcus's book Hello Life because I really enjoyed it. I don't know why I always seem to always enjoy YouTube books because they are always amazing in their own way and don't forget to share this video with all your friends so that they can join in the fun that's it from me so peace